what is up guys welcome to the big unbox where we do that small tech and today i am back with another big unboxing for you for the iphone 10r and today we're back with a case from native union this is going to be an apple store exclusive case this is their leather version to unbox do a quick review as always i'll throw up the link in the video description now first things first pricing is definitely going to be steep 59 bucks was absolutely crazy but you know it's it's a leather case but it's still let's be honest that's really expensive for any case so it's really gonna have to win me over to be a hit and this is actually going to be my wife's case so hence the colors i got i think there are a couple of different color options to choose from but obviously this is going to be hers anyways but we'll call it like it is if it's a hit it's a hit if it's a miss it's a miss presentation looks premium you got the native union branding up top you can see the the color design so you got like a black or you got black gray and then like a pale pink and then iPhone 10R, handcrafted leather, and then on the side, it's going to tell you a little more about the actual case itself and what kind of leather you're going to get, how it's going to age beautifully over time. That's pretty much it in terms of presentation. Let's go and check it out. Nothing like the beautiful presentation, and then you can just pull it out like this. Now, a lot of things, that, well, something in just in general, there's really not a lot of official Apple products for the 10R. They kind of neglected that, so hopefully there's a leather case that actually is a hit for it because I'm a big fan of the official leather cases and the official silicone cases. Now the only official case that I've seen for the 10R is that clear case and I thought that was pretty much garbage, waste of money, waste your 40 bucks. So I'd rather pay 60 for something that actually feels premium than that. Now actually the leather itself's got this nice texture to it. You can see it's actually more of a charcoal gray at the very bottom. You can see it's got a little branding right there and then transitions to the grayish silver to the pink up top camera cut out now the inside is very nice velvet like finish felt like finish i have to say on the inside you got the native union branding right there and then it transitions from that around the bumper to the leather material the bottom part is exposed so that's kind of like more of a apple thing at least apple official product thing you got the volume up and down covered alert slider right there that's pretty much it it's got a light feel to it. It feels pretty. It feels real premium. I'm not gonna lie about that, which you'd expect for that price point. And then finally, there's a little bit of branding right there on the sides from Native Union. So let's go and pop it in and see how it looks for the iPhone 10R guys, and pop it into place like this. Nice tight fit. Now my first impression with that white it looks really clean, and I like that a lot with that white. And then the pink and the gray and then the dark gray right there it looks very clean it's got some nice grip to it especially i like this right here it's actually this side part that where they actually get the engraving right there it gives you some extra grip when you're putting it in your pocket or taking it out of your pocket it's got some nice overall grip to it and it feels very similar to the official one it does have kind of just a little maybe creaking feel on the sides i'm not sure if that'll actually wear in but it should now camera protection let's check that out really not hardly any camera protection at all let's check let's see how exposed that is and then you can see that camera almost protruding over the edges right there so that's something i would be leery about especially if you're spinning you can see right there i mean it's it's flush so but i mean if you just ding it just right i would actually be worried about marking up that camera so that's kind of a negative in my opinion especially if you're paying this much for the case they could give you a little more they could have actually raised it up a little bit more around the edges for more protection that's definitely a negative in my opinion let's check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lip and yeah, not too bad a lip protection actually you can see it's a thin case but you can see actually the colors make it easy to see the lipage around the side so it's definitely not you know i do have a screen protector on this one but you can see it is raised up above the screen protector so if you drop it it's going to probably make an impact on the lip before it makes an impact on the screen protector not crazy lip protection but i wouldn't expect too much alert slider a little tight to get to but not too bad volume up and down clicky actually feel pretty decent you can see the the leather right there material obviously your bottom is completely exposed the speaker grill is popping through and then power button is clicky and responsive so is this a hit or miss i got i can't say it's gonna be a hit for 60 bucks reason why i mean if, it, if this is 40 bucks i think it's probably a hit 40 45 but the camera cut out that is just not enough camera protection for me what do you guys think about that is that enough camera protection for you you can see it just really 
close to being flooded. You really just got that camera exposed, and now I'll be leery about getting that camera scratched up. That's just my opinion. I'm going to say this is a miss, especially for that price point. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.